Hey YouTube, this is Danielle coming at you from Port St. Lucie, Florida, and today we're here to talk about TYT versus H.A. Goodman. Now I don't know about the rest of you, but I've pretty much had enough of this. We have Wolfpack going up against Wolfpack, and we really can't afford this right now. So we're going to go through it point by point and put everyone in their place. Now, TYT, H.A. Goodman did not create the hate for you. You created the hate for you. When Cenk Uger looked into the camera and told his audience, I know I've been telling you for the last two years how horrible Hillary Clinton is, but sad day for us, I need you to vote for her. Sorry, Cenk, you lost every single Bernie or Bus supporter that day. Now, to the matter at hand. John Idearola, I am absolutely disgusted with you. The host of Think Tank is so shallow that he thinks that donations are donations. Let's forget Saudi Arabia's donations to Hillary Clinton. Let's forget Donald Trump registering seven new businesses in Saudi Arabia during the primary. Come on, you guys. Now, H.A. Goodman was correct for calling you out for that. That was shallow and pedantic and, quite frankly, ridiculous. And he told you so. Now, Jordan, this wasn't your fight. You stuck your nose in it, and you paid for it. And you destroyed your credibility in the process. You were the only person, besides for Emma and Michael Tracy and Jimmy Dore, that was lending TYT any credibility. Jeff Waldorf, Kyle Kalinske, Mike Figueredo, they don't really have contact with TYT Maine. You guys do. And you lended Jank Uger and Anna Kasparian your credibility since they have none. But you destroyed that by smearing Tim Black. Have you ever watched Tim Black? Tim Black is as real as real gets. I loved the episode where he was sitting in his little room talking to us and drinking water out of a jar. That's real. That's us. He is speaking for us, and you were wrong to smear him. That being said, H.A. was again correct for going after you for smearing principled progressives. He was also correct in going after you for your DNC apologetics, just dismissing the class action lawsuit here in Florida right now against the DNC. Now, all of that being said about TYT, I don't like TYT, but I do like the smaller affiliates. Kyle Kalinske, Mike Figueredo, Jeff Waldorf, Jimmy Dore, I love you guys. TYT Maine is dead to me. Now, H.A. Goodman. You fucked up too, buddy. I was with you 100% until you started smearing Justice Democrats. And you attempted to use WikiLeaks to do it, which I find outrageous. Now, let's talk about WikiLeaks number 40072 and number 24506. I know you read them, but did your audience read them? Those emails are from... Mike Honda, Ro Khanna's opposition. Now, is Mike Honda lying when he says that Ro Khanna got himself a super PAC? Or is Open Secrets lying when they say that Ro Khanna has never took PAC money and 100% of his donations are from individuals? Give me a break, H.A. And even more worse than that, after the disingenuous smears against Ro Khanna, you had the gall to come out two videos later and praise him. Ro Khanna, DNC acted improperly by tipping the scale. You can't have it both ways, H.A. You have to pick a side if you're going to choose to pick a side. You can't smear the guy and then praise him in the same breath. And now let's talk about the people that you praise. Let's talk about Hard Bastard. Now, I started following him after you recommended him. And he was reasonable at first. And then I found out that he voted for Trump. Now, I can get that. There's plenty of reasons to 
want to keep Hillary Clinton as far away from the White House as possible. But the things that I had a problem with is he misrepresenting the study that showed that two times as many people have been killed by domestic right-wing terrorists as Islamic terrorists since 2001. Now, he discredited this by saying that the study did not include attacks such as the Boston bombing where no one died. The point was, was that it was about a list that killed people. And then he decided to say one of the most idiotic things I have ever heard in my life. He dismissed the obvious fact that if Trump care is implemented, it will kill people as hyperbole. Before Obamacare was implemented, 45,000 people die every single year without access to basic medical care. I would know. I'm one of them. I'm 32 years old. I'm falling apart. My mother died at 47. My father got sick at 47 and died at 56. You think I got much time left? No. So I'm here to put you in your place. If you are going to smear Justice Democrats and promote someone as obviously uninformed as hard bastard, you need to catch a clue. Now, all of this being said, enough is enough. You guys all have your faults. You guys all have your disingenuous smears. End it. You are trying to drive a wedge between Justice Democrats and draft Bernie. And that's not right. We need a multi-frontal attack against corporate Democrats. And if you are going to split the opposition and we're not supporting each other, we'll never win. So end this stupid feud now and let's get to the more important matters at hand.